In a crowded field of more than a dozen Democrats, someone has filed with federal election authorities as a Republican in the race for the first congressional district in Rhode Island. But a funny thing happened on our way to try to interview that person. Yeah, we can't find any other trace of that person's existence. The I-team's Brian Crandall tracking it down tonight. Who is Barrett Linton? A look at the long list of people who have now filed federal statements of candidacy in Rhode Island's first congressional district race now reveals that name. You can see a Barrett Linton filed on May 3rd as a Republican with an address in Smithfield. We checked those property records and found other names listed as the owners there. One of the homeowners tells me over the phone she has no idea who Barrett Linton is. And that person is not someone who lives there. Indeed, we used online search tools and could not find a Barrett Linton with that spelling in Rhode Island or anywhere in the country. The Rhode Island Secretary of State's office says it has no record of a voter named Barrett Linton. The Rhode Island Republican Party tells me the party chairman, quote, has had calls with several prospective candidates, but Barrett Linton is not one of them. Well, the homeowner at the listed address does tell me that they've recently begun receiving some mail in the name of a Barrett Linton, including one from a Republican political strategist. That firm has not returned my messages. I asked the FEC if it had any more information on the Barrett Linton filing and what kind of verification the agency conducts. An FEC spokesperson did not address the filing specifically, but replied that the agency has a verification process for potentially false and fictitious filings that came as a result of increased false or questionable candidate filings in 2016. If there are questions, the person would have 35 days to respond to a letter from the FEC. The FEC notes that making a knowingly false statement to them is a crime that can result in legal punishment. And the federal agency keeps a file of unverified candidates, some with names that look real, but plenty of others like The Batman, Dirty Cockroach, Buddy the Elf, Cranky for President, Taco Cat for President, of course Mickey Mouse, other celebrity names, and plenty of names that we cannot say on TV. Now if you know Barrett Linton, or if you are Barrett Linton, let us know. Brian Crandall, NBC10 News. Hi everyone, it's Mark Searles from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.